Hello and welcome to Insights from the Autistic. Today's episode is about how touch feels to someone with autism. So I'm going to discuss how, as a child, I related to touch and how that has evolved through the years. Now, as a child, I really did not like to be touched at all. Except, I think, except for my, by my mom, maybe because I felt very close to my mom. But any other touch from anybody else, it felt super invasive. Like a super invasion of my privacy. It's like you walk into somebody while in the room while they're naked or something. You know, it, it, it feels very personal. So, I really did not like touching. Even a small touch, like a tap to the shoulder, was a lot. And I especially hated really big hugs unless I was super comfortable like if I, like I was with my mom. Otherwise, no. Uh-uh. It made me very upset that people would touch me and, and, you know, and stuff like that. You know, I don't mean in a sexual way. I mean, you know, just touch me like the tap on the shoulder or a hug or something like that. Of course, when they did that, though, it did feel like they were touching my private parts. I mean, it was very invasive. And I really hated it. A lot. Even in middle school, this was an issue. I think even high school, for that matter. In high school, I got a little bit more used to hugging people, but only really members of the opposite sex. You know, if a girl wanted to hug me, you know, I was cool with that. Uh, maybe because I, I, I wanted, you know, that sort of connection with somebody of the opposite gender. But of course, a guy touching me, other than handshakes, a few taps on the shoulder, you know, I, I really was not very comfortable with that. As an adult, I'm more used to... I think I've gotten more used to how society and social interactions work. So I'm more used to somebody taps me on the shoulder. I don't, it doesn't feel as invasive as it did. You know, hugging people, you know, I'm not really big on hugging males, you know, men. You know, I can hug people, it's cool. There's certain, certain people that I don't like touching me, I don't know why. You know, if, if somebody, when it comes to touch, well, even hugging certain girls, you know, I, I, I have an issue with. It's more about like a trust level and um, to me touch is a very intimate thing. So even like a tap to my shoulder, it's like intimate. I only want people to touch me who I want to get close to, you know. Um, they're, you know, they're close because they're family, or I want to get close to them, you know, because maybe I find that girl attractive or something. So, to me, touch is an intimate aspect. And I think many other people with autism probably feel the same way. And I think that's why touch can be very challenging for a lot of us with autism. Now, some of us really do need that touch. You know, Temple Granny, you know, she talks about how she needs a squeeze mis machine and the heavy touch. You know, I really do enjoy, um, like really heavy hugs, you know, like really people who squeeze me tight, but I only like it if it's if it's somebody that I, I feel a very deep connection to, you know, I don't want, you know, just some random stranger to hug me, or even somebody that I kind of know, who is a friend, but personal for me, I guess. But I guess touch has always kind of felt intimate to me, and I think that that's how a lot of other people with autism feel. That might be why, you know, like, like they kind of freak out about touch and stuff, because it feels very private, you know, it feels very personal. It really is kind of like touching your private parts, so it really is a, a personal thing. And so hopefully answer your question as to how, why it's difficult for some people with autism to receive, you know, people touching them and stuff. With that said, I thank you for watching this video, and I wish everybody a most awesome day of awesomeness. Thank you.